What's up everybody? So, end of live show or soon to be and I'm going to uh, just take all this footage, probably just post it all and uh, not really edit anything out. Uh, and then there'll probably be two, three parts maybe, so watch them all. Enjoy. See you guys. What's up everybody? Live show! This is during the live show. Yes, as always, live shows going on, Brad broadcasting going on, everybody having a good time. Got about 25 viewers, a little lower than sometimes, but no problem, I don't care. I, I bombed everybody last time, so my apologies, but I didn't feel good, so there'll be days like that, my mama said. All right, anyway, uh, so here's what I've done. This is out of a condenser unit, or a uh, dehumidifier, I guess, and um, basically it's just a, a, a pump, compressor, and it's vacuum on one side and it pumps on the other side. So I'm trying to pull a vacuum on my chamber here and what I've done is taken my pressure gauge and I've turned it. Okay, so originally this would be down here, so zero would be here and then up around to 60 PSI. Well, what I've done is just turned it and I set it at 50 and I'm pulling a vacuum, I'm pulling this backwards. This may only go so, so far and then quit, I don't know but it only dropped about 10 and it's holding. Now the other thing I did is my original cap, it looks like this, well that's designed for pressure, never even considered vacuum. And so what I had to do is I had to go get another couple of caps, put another hole in there, and I glued on some clear tops so that I can see inside this chamber. Now unfortunately, when I glued this on here, I used this uh, Loctite quick set epoxy worked really well uh, So far the only problem that I had was when I set them on here I had them tilted just a little because they were outside and they actually slid off so my glue slid over You can see it there. I was kind of pissed off I can't really do much about it. And so this one actually only has a little bitty tiny hole where you can actually see clear But it's a clear window you can see in there. and That's all it really really matters. So right now. I'm at uh I'm just going to call this negative 10 PSI. I really don't have a vacuum gauge at the moment. Um, I will have to get one of those. And so let's hook up, let's hook up some uh, electricity to this puppy. And we'll bleed it off and we'll vacuum it and we'll see if we can see a difference in our arc. And uh, yeah. So what am I looking to do for this before I start this process? I'm actually looking... Uh, to not have oxidation going on. I do not want oxidation in my chamber. I made a video that I got to edit and re-upload. It may even be before this one, but what I want to do is get rid of the oxidation. Whenever you break down a, a iron and try to get iron ions, it doesn't do a whole lot because you're not actually, um, you're producing a toxic gases and all sorts of other stuff that uh, happens in the chemical process, but I want just the iron ions. So the best way to do that is get rid of the air. There'll be no oxidation. So the only thing that you'll have is breakdown of the material within the system. And then you can release this vacuum through your EPG with, let's say, argon input, ionized argon input, vacuum into the EPG. That's the idea. Let's move on. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set you guys down and so you can see what's going on here. Try to keep the camera far enough away to where the uh, crazy spark gap won't explode. Again, the vacuum that I'm pulling, it, it's just, I'm just merely using this gauge as a temporary problem solver. And uh, just to kind of give me a clue what I'm doing. And it may not even work right, but whatever. So here we go. Under a vacuum, arc chamber. Let me see if I can get a good shot of this. I don't think I'm putting off too many scalar waves going on here because it's a lot better. Sorry, hold on. I kind of see it sparking beyond right there where it's burning stuff off back there. Right there it goes. That's not normal. Normally it's just this big giant gap arc. So 
So we're definitely under a vacuum. Now let's try it without a vacuum. Let's just see what happens. All right, so here is without the... I'm going to try to hold this camera away, but this is without... All right, it's like huge. It's a big difference. And, uh... It's a big difference. So let's set up a little test here and see what happens. All right, I just got this temporarily sitting sideways, so it may change when I turn my compressor on. But I'm going to turn the arc on, and then I'm going to plug the compressor on, and let's see the change. So there it goes, turn the compressor on. Big time change. So it looks like we went down negative. It might be about maxed out on my gauge here. It may not actually go past that, but negative 40 on there. Oh, I'm sorry, 10. Negative 10, negative 11 psi, whatever that equals to on this haggard gauge. That is too cool. I'm actually getting, for anybody that's on the live show there, I'm actually getting a plasma effect, which is actually what I want, but I'm actually getting a plasma effect. I'll show you on the good cam here on the live show, people. I'm actually getting a nice plasma effect. I think what I'm going to do is just leave. That's a carbon arc, just so everyone knows. I think what I'm going to do is leave the vacuum on it and see if we can get an even even better. Uh, just see if it keeps sucking, even though my gauge isn't moving, it may actually be sucking the vacuum. All right, we'll just sit here and watch it. It is, it is going down, but I don't know if that gauge, you know, I don't have a real vacuum gauge, so I can't tell if it's actually going negative more, but nonetheless, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Now, what I need to do is uh, fill this chamber up with argon, pull a vacuum, and see if we can get a nice neon effect inside that thing. We could do it with hydrogen too. I'm not really changing past what it was at there, but it's a plasma, that's for sure. Well, finally getting some successful results. You can see it in there, nice plasma effect going on. Again, I'm using AC here, so let's uh, let's hook up some DC and see what happens. Okay, so here we are. We're back. Um, I got a DC supply, 10,000 volts, the same one I've been using, and we've got it hooked up to this chamber. And I put a different cap on here. What I did is I made two of these. And the one has a smaller hole just in case something would fail. But I got the bigger hole one out. We can see a little bit better now. And um, what I'm going to show you is the DC. Now, right now, what happens is that when you turn it on, nothing happens. And that is because I actually have the gap set far apart. And it's so far apart that you don't actually see it arc until the vacuum gets pulled down enough to where it actually is doing the thing. So right now I've got the DC voltage on. I'm going to go ahead and plug the compressor in and you'll see it start to arc. Once it gets down, we're at, uh, they were just now getting it about eight, negative eight on my gauge, which doesn't mean anything, but it gives me a reference point. And now you can see it arcing and, uh, It'll, it's pretty cool, actually, the way it looks. I'm going to get this a little bit closer here. 
Now the more vacuum we pull, the faster it arcs. This this supply has capacitors in it, and uh, so it arcs whenever that discharges, that capacitor discharges. But what I want to try to show you, if it'll focus, it's focusing on the front. Let's see if we can get it to focus on the inside there. If it'll work, there we go, and that's kind of focusing. Basically, what I want to show you is the arc in there is actually throwing off little bitty shards of stuff. And those little bitty shards of stuff is discharging. And obviously, one side's negative and one side's positive in there. So you're getting, you know, you're getting different results. I wish this was clearer than that, but it's all you get. So now what I'm going to do is hook up some uh, a flyback transformer. And I don't know why I didn't think it's for flyback transformers. Most of them are DC. And, uh, you know, that's going to be helpful. We're going to get a little bit more amperage. And hopefully uh, we can get more going on here than just that little bitty arc. So uh, most of those are DC output because that's the way a screen works in a monitor. You actually have electrons being projected, being pulled towards that positive potential, and then they continue on and hit the phosphor, and that's what you see. So, it's kind of cool. So, we're going to get that out and hook it up and see what happens. Alright guys, so the more I let this sit, um, the less and less and less vacuum I'm getting, and the brighter and the brighter and the brighter the arc is getting. It's so bright that you guys can't even, this camera won't even pick it up here. It's probably ruining the lens, but um, basically it's actually becoming a very, in my eyes, when I see it, it's becoming a very nice plasma-ish looking. You can see the arc going across it, and then you can see right around the arc, you can see this nice glow. I wish you guys could see it. Maybe you can see it a little bit there, but it's got this really nice looking glow going on, but you can't see it very well. That sucks. I can see it real well. Okay guys, so it's a little messy, but flyback transformer going on here. Finally got it hooked up. <clears throat> Had to go through two of them to get the right pin out. But depending on our pulse frequency. If I can hold this in one spot. Oh yeah, that's coming in real clear on this camera. Depending on... Ah, come on. Oh. There you go. Depending on the frequency and the duty cycle, you can get some really cool effects. You get it just right, it'll kind of dance. There you go. Rotating in a circle. It's hard to see, but it is. Nice plasma, plasma effect going on there. And the vacuum is on. You get it just right, you can actually, there you can see the carbon, still carbon arc. I think what's happening there is I got more amperage. Kind of cool looking though. actually see that top part and there we go that looks pretty good there all right so now what I want to do stick some argon in there and see if we can get a plasma let's do it 